Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul East X Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I am joined on mic by Tyler. Hello. Thank you very much, Lady Pesh. It was made by my good friend, Dr. Sabota. We like Ninja Turtles around here, so it's a perfect fit for the stream. Tonight, we are playing Dangerous Driving for Xbox One. It's also on PlayStation 4 and... I guess Epic Streaming, Epic's PC service, it's not Steam. What's that called? Um, the Epic Game Store or whatever, the thing that people hate. Yeah, yeah, because it's not on Steam, which is wacky for little indie games like this. And hey, there's Dr. Sabota. Dr. Sabota, people were just complimenting your your awesome intro you made for us. Thank you for that. Dr. Sabota also made the logo to our stream based on my design. Very nice of him. Oh, that's good to hear, Drew. Thank you. So, dangerous driving. What do we know about it, Tyler? Is driving truly dangerous? I don't know anything about it. I assume it's probably like that burnout crashing game or something. It could be. Are they allowed to have cars in Utah, Tyler? Do you have to have a special license? I mean, you do have to have a special license, but I believe that uh -huh. that is true in every state to be able to drive a vehicle. <laughs> Maybe it's not so different over there. All right, taking a quick look at the options. I notice there's lyrics in the song. Should I? Uh, oh, you can even. It has built-in Spotify support. That's pretty interesting. I don't have Spotify. Um, I'm feeling like I should turn the music down to be safe for streaming. I turned it down like 30 percent. Controls. Um, it'd be fine for streaming, but you'll get muted on the. Oh, you mean just just so people can hear you? No, no, I mean, because I want the replay video not to... Yeah, well, if it's me. licensed, you're probably screwed regardless. Yeah, let's turn it down to 20. That's real low. That should be fine. Take down cameras on. Okay. Hey, Lil Pup, glad to see you too. Real life friend, Lil Pup. Okay. So, they have just added online multiplayer to this game. If anybody wins a copy on Xbox, I want you to hop online and play multiplayer with me. So, don't try to win the Xbox code if you can't handle that. You know who you are. Time for Dangerous Driving Tour. Let's do it. Looks like everything's broken up into classes, different kinds of cars. Tyler, what kind of car do you drive if indeed you have an actual car there in Utah? I drive a Hyundai. Oh, a Hyundai. Those a are Hyundai. <laughs> yeah, is that a... That's a sedan, in it? Yeah, it's a um, sedan. I mean, right. it's an Elantra. Um, yeah, just a sedan. There's no shame in that, Tyler, unless it breaks down a lot. No, nope, it doesn't. It's 2016, it so it's pretty new. Oh, sweet. Okay, we can change the paint. We've got a few different color schemes. I want green. Give me green. Every color except for green. <laughs> Come on. We may have to settle for red. Look at all these colors. Like, I mean, there's a lot of colors, and they're not green. All right, we'll go with white and red. Maybe green is like a micro transaction thing that you have to buy. The color of money, so it makes sense. Yeah, we are sorry for that, Darker Player. But you did get to play online with me one time, and that was cool. All right, fight through traffic to win the race. So this is just a regular race. I thought you said it was a burnout type game. I mean, what's it called? Dangerous driving? Yeah. I mean, I would have thought so. Did you know that driving is actually one of the most dangerous things we all do in our daily lives? I did know that. Yeah, because there's a lot of crappy drivers out there or people who abuse drugs and alcohol while driving. Ah! And they cause problems, don't they? And even just regular people who are playing on their phones or doing dumb things. Did you ever see the Stephen King movie Thinner? Uh, no. Well, I haven't seen it in a real long time, but I know that in the book, this guy, he gets in a car accident, he runs over a gypsy lady, right? And do you know what causes the car accident, Tyler? Um, drugs and alcohol. It's not drugs or alcohol. It's something much more fun and wholesome. Maybe you can shoot them out the window or something, and that's what makes it dangerous. <laughs> well, I just got smashed, smacked around a bit. Uh, no, he, he gets in a wreck because he has someone sitting next to him who is distracting him. Uh, 
in a in a certain way that that happens when uh, two people love each other very much. I think Lil Pup mentioned it. Oh, good call, Lil Pup. <laughs> What's the movie called? Clean way? Thinner. Thinner, and it's a Stephen King. Yeah, it's an adaptation. Hmm. So yeah, he killed. He, yeah, he runs over a gypsy. I think he kills her, and the family of gypsies they curse him to continue losing weight no matter how much he eats so then he gets thinner and thinner you get it yeah oh yeah. really frail and stuff yeah and i mean that's a hard thing to do with the movie i can't remember how real yeah. it looked or didn't look it's kind of a weird uh curse <laughs> yeah it is but you know i mean it makes the movie different you know i mean and the book you know yeah. different you don't want it to be just like every other story you read Happy ending, sure. Wolfblade says. Yeah, well, that's the question. Was there a happy ending before the wreck occurred? We may never know. <laughs> ah. Good thing Brian's not here. I know, he he would hate that. Brian yeah. is not a fan of sexuality. I don't know how he even ended up having a baby, to be honest. <laughs> Little Brian Rietta. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, we keep it we keep it vague and uh, illusional, guys. We don't we don't go into a lot of detail when we're being silly like that. So I've learned that not having music is not the best way to drive, and secondly, this is kind of hard. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Am I? Sometimes you wreck somebody in a wall or something. And it's like take down, and that's good, right? I think. Yeah, aren't you just like uh, racing to get first? Is that all it is? I don't know. Oh, I just look at that. I just smacked right into that truck. That was embarrassing. Yeah, and I'm in fifth place, Tyler, which is very nearly first place. So fifth. close. Yeah, out of six cars. Did you ever play the real Burnout games, Tyler? No, I didn't, but I know a lot of people who really enjoy them. Isn't that because you hate games involving cars? I mean, unless they're like go-karts. Yeah, pretty much. And don't you even dislike games in which the people who worked on the games drove cars to work? Yes, absolutely. That's really harsh, Tyler. Harsh. But you're a man of your convictions, and I like that. Yeah. If you drive to work, I don't want to play your game. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have done that. Um, hey, Icky's here. We're glad to see you, Icky. There are multiple modes. Yeah, we're gonna retry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just getting warmed up. Have you driven prototype SUV? Am I at that class yet? Then no, I haven't. Why well, ask a rhetorical question like that, Mr. Video Game? So is there a button for boosting that I don't know about? Does anybody know about this game in seriousness? I don't know anything about it. Okay. Well, guys, we have a uh, Facebook, couple of Facebook friends of mine named Lady Pesh in here tonight, all the way from Frosty, Canada. And if it doesn't make them uncomfortable, we would love them to tell everybody in the audience what game systems they have and what kind of games they like to play. I happen to know that they are fellow Dragon Quest fans, which makes them cooler than people who aren't fellow Dragon Quest fans. Sorry, Up84. Ah. Okay, oh, push the A button to activate your boost. How did I not realize that the first time around? I wonder who's texting It's me. like the main button. Well, when you're racing, you use the right trigger, unless you're playing a Nintendo game, in which case it's some random face button that accelerates. Okay. Trading paint, ow. Ha, knocked the guy over. Burn in hell, opponent. Ah. You gotta be stern with these guys, Tyler. Oh, I'm getting shunted, whatever that means. Yeah, I saw it said shunt earlier. I was like, what on earth is that? Isn't that what you put on your leg after you break it and you have to continue hiking? Uh, no. Yeah, you. I mean, a makeshift shunt. Were you not in Boy Scouts, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> ah, slam. But, I mean, the 
I'm gonna say I don't love the difficulty. Like, it doesn't feel impossible or anything, but I feel like for the very first race, they should go a little easier on you and let you learn the mechanics. I'm not gonna apologize for that controversial stance. Oh. Because, yeah, one little thing and everybody just passes you right up. Whoa, yeah, and I just crashed. I do like the crash cams. What do you think of how the game looks, Tyler? Does it look okay to you? It looks all right. I mean, it's not winning any awards. It's like a racing game that looks like no. a racing game. But I mean, yeah, it looks nice for a downloadable title, but I don't know. Um, is it published by like a bigger publisher? Or is it just an indie title? Three Fields Entertainment. So I think just purely indie, because I haven't heard of them besides this, have you? No. I don't. I think there's a physical release that actually is from Maximum Games, who are like a mid-level publisher. Low to mid-level. The physical game comes with some kind of bonus game that you don't get when you buy it digitally, which is interesting to hear. What about Dangerous Golf? Is this related to Dangerous Golf? I think it is, but Dangerous Golf wasn't like just a racing game. Dangerous Golf was like destroy things with golf balls. Well, we know this... Ooh, double takedown right there. And an achievement! Yes! Is this in VR? On PlayStation? Oh, that's a good question. Because if it is, that would be pretty neat. That would enhance things. Because I thought that Dangerous Golf was, but I don't know. First place! That's more like it! Yes! Another achievement! Baby! Yeah, that's a fair way to put it, lady. I like the reflections on the road. I think the road reflections are pretty good for a game of this type. Sedan Class Shakedown Preview. Why is it a preview? And actual Sedan Class Shakedown. Yeah, my work friends, friends from Taco Cabana, they wanted to go to the... Uh-oh, I don't know which one is selected. They wanted to go to the pub tonight, and then um, the one who put it together canceled, so no such luck. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. On the other hand, I do work at 6 in the morning tomorrow, so it might have been a little unwise. Actually. Yeah, pub yeah. might not have been the best call <laughs> for the evening. No, no. Is Icky doing the giveaway? Yes. Icky's great like that. We love him. Icky, you're going to need to pick a PC coder, too, because I think I didn't get to fill that in before we had to get started. Oh, look, and I get to change my paint again. Tell me there's green this time. They really just don't like my favorite color, Tyler. That is not Cowabunga Cool. It makes this interesting sound when you change the color, though, like you're shaking a, a die or a pen or something. Or like the sound it makes when you shake up spray paint, you know, the little thing inside yeah. pops around. Thank you, BX Latino. Oh, thank you, Mongbox. Mongbox found out that Shunt has another definition besides the thing that you put on a broken leg on a hike. So... That's good to know. It's, uh, it's the thing you put into a an artery when they go into heart surgery, right? Oh, wow. I think you're right about that. Yeah. But also, like, if somebody's choking, you know, if they got food lodged in their throat and you have to make a hole in the airway, just stat, that's probably a shunt, too. Uh. You ever seen that in a TV or movie? Yeah, where they trach them. Yeah, that's it. I have, and yeah, they do it a lot in house. That's right. And uh, then they give them broad spectrum antibiotics, and it never works. Good old house. Have you seen the movie Doctor Strange, Tyler? Of course. Doctor Strange is awesome. I thought so too. I'm glad you liked it. Well, I'm reminded, when I think of House, I also think of Doctor Strange, because Hugh Laurie, who, is, who plays House, <laughs> and uh, Snake Guy, who plays Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch? Yeah. What'd you call him, Snake Guy? Yeah, because he's a snake. He is? Yes. Oh, yeah, he, he is a snake in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, but also, doesn't he just look like a snake man? I think oh, uh, I don't think so. He just looks weird. Well, I mean, 
I don't expect snake people to look normal, so it all <laughs> in the place for me. Anyway, both of them have like basically the exact same American voice. House and Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Very similar voices, because it's you know it's artificial. Yeah. So. There yeah, aren't enough also, American actors. He's also Sherlock, so you gotta give oh, him neat. respect. Yeah, but didn't that show get super bad like halfway through? That's yeah. What everyone too, says. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much exactly halfway through. Season three and season four are really pretty bad. What a shame. Because I always meant to check them out, but then hearing how bad the show gets, that kind of scared me away. Yeah, but the second season has some fantastic episodes. <laughs> oh, Lady Pesh says Benedict Cumberbund is also Smaug in the truly terrible Hobbit movies. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about, because he's like a weird creature, but I guess he's a dragon. Yeah, yeah, he's technically. And dragons, they would, in Britain, they would sometimes call them worms but they wouldn't actually call him Snake, so. Ooh, I only got a bronze on that. Is that bad or good? I honestly don't know. I feel like this game needs tutorial stuff, because there just isn't any. I feel like it needs objectives or something. I don't, I mean, was there an objective and I didn't do it and that's why I got a bronze? I don't know. Also, um, it seems to I don't me think I don't think Shen Shenmue Three is exclusive for Sony for a specific amount of time. It's not announced for Xbox, though, is it? Oh, it's not. No, and oh. it is timed exclusive for the Epic Store on PC. Which oh, Sony did it? Not didn't one and two come to Xbox though? They did. Yes. So it would be silly not to eventually bring them to Xbox as well. Part I mean, those version. games. They, they look completely dreadful anyway, so Good who cares, luck, but... Do you think that about the Yakuza games, too? Uh, no, but don't the Yakuza games have, like, something to do in them? Yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, they are, like, truly evolved from Shinmu 1 and 2, you know, like, without... Yeah, Shinmu is, like, walking around, and, like, I, I watched Adam play it, and, like, he walked around a market for an hour and a half and talked <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, the worlds are a lot less dense, and there's a lot of, like, waste of time things, like going through drawers and stuff. Yeah, it looks it looks awful. I think there's a lot of neat stuff to it, but, yeah, there'd be a lot of busy work involved when they're a lot of wandering. But they do, you know, Shenmue 1 and 2, I think they both had some classic Sega arcade games you could play in actual arcades in that world, you know? And that's really clever. Is especially, it though? I think so, especially because back then, like compilations of classic games wasn't a very common thing. So for some people, it'd be like the only way they got to play those particular games at home. Yeah, I played at Animal Crossing, had a bunch of free NES games on it, the GameCube version, and that was cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that was really sweet. Had Punch Out on it. Do you like Punch Out? Is it actually fun? Yeah, Punch Out's cool. I don't like having to memorize all the tells and stuff. Yeah, you definitely have to, have to memorize everything. But, I mean, that's basically what a lot of old games were. Memorization? Yeah, yeah. I suppose you're right. Okay, my time's about to run out or something, but I just. What am I even supposed to do? Like. If. Suppose some of these may have the objective that I'm supposed to ram a bunch of cars or something, but if it doesn't tell me, then how would I know? Yes, Icky, I am using a regular Xbox One controller with a chat pad. This is the controller that came with my Battlefield Xbox One X. Oh, Simeus really likes NES Punch-Out. Yeah, I don't know, like Super Nintendo and Wii Punch-Out both graphically are gorgeous to me, you know, like, wow, those are pretty games. But, like, I just remember I would play Punch-Out at a friend's house, and I never thought it was very fun. I sucked at it. I could only get to, like, the sixth or seventh guy or something, and then I died too much. Something like that for me, too. You really kind of need a guide unless you can figure it all out and remember it. Yeah, it's a lot of practice. But again, that's how those games were. Like, there's only nine bosses or something, so you have to make sure they take forever to beat each one. <laughs> That's true. 
And didn't Switch get a port of Arcade Punch Out first time that ever got brought to a home system, which is really neat. No idea. It did. Arcade Punch Out. Significant differences from the NES version. So, yeah, I am observing that the game does not teach you what your objective is in these events, and that's like, come on, total foo foo beginner level mistakes. And these are the people who made Burnout, supposedly. Or like, it's probably a team of 12 people, and one of them worked on a Burnout game. You know, that's how it is. I mean, that other Burnout type game that I, I wrote about it for Windows Central, I can't remember what it was called. You know, but there's another one. And it had somebody from the Burnout team, too. Yeah, that's what I thought this one was. So I think in this Road Rage event, I actually do have to smack people around. Yay, and I got that guy. Bring it on, give me more. But you have to hit specific... What? I crashed from hitting him? That I don't like. Like, am I supposed to run into people or not? Don't punish me for it. Nice. Jono knows a fair amount about this game. We appreciate that, Jono. Long time viewer, best, single best supporter of the stream, unless we count Tyler and Nikki. Nah, don't count me. <laughs> Shunt. That's got to be like a word that's common in whatever country that this was made in, because... I've never heard that word used before. You think they're British? I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe it's just because you don't go camping enough, Tyler. Not enough shunting in my life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When you find the right lady, someday she's going to give you the shunt, Tyler. <laughs> Doctor Sapota says it's says it's used in NASCAR. Oh, neat. Huh. So they shunt each other in NASCAR? I wouldn't have expected Dr. Sabota to be a shunting fan or a NASCAR Yeah, fan. Shunt shunting is overrated. Just <laughs> false right. Shunt the fun up. I've heard of trading paint. I've seen that in the South Park episode. Those make me fun of NASCAR. Oh. Yeah, I mean, ooh, it says I got a platinum medal, I think. That's the best you can get, Tyler. No, it's not. Double platinum. <laughs> Fine, I'll see your double platinum and raise you a triple platinum. Yeah, I do... This particular type of event is quite fun. So the whole game should be just this and nothing else. That's my final prognosis. That's what I thought it was, was more of a takedown game. Less of a racer. Oh, nice. Dr. Sabota's a big racing fan. Savota's got all kinds of interests because he makes videos and he like collects classic arcade machines or something. He's got a lot going on over there, and I mean, I guess you could do that when you're a doctor. Jonas, yeah. Being a doctor affords you the ability to have all those hobbies. Um, Jonas <laughs> says make sure to drift around corners to build up boost. That's a request that I can't meet, Jonas. Do you like drifting in games? You probably don't, Tyler, because you don't even like racing games very much. Because why? You don't like racing games very much. Oh, yeah, no, I don't like drifting. It's hard. Achievement! Seeing red win a road rage. I did win that road rage, didn't I? <laughs> the one racing fan left. Dang. Platinum medal. That is pretty cool. I am proud of having earned that platinum medal. Why isn't that an achievement? I think my camera got moved down a little bit because like I'm having to kind of slouch to get more of the top of my head in. I don't want like a whole lot of my chest on camera compared to the top of my head, you know? Well, I never played grid, Icky. I played Mario Kart and Super Mario Kart or Mario Kart 64. What about Mario Kart Advance? Mario Kart Advance, yes, I played that. Nice. Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Wii. 3DS one? Did you play the 3DS one? No, I did not. Mario Kart I've, 7. I did not play that one. I bought that, and I have played it some on my 3DS, and I enjoy it. Nor have I played Mario Kart 8. Uh-oh. I played Diddy Kong Racing. 
Was that good? Yeah, that's good. Nice. I'd like to play that. Did they ever re-release it on anything? Uh, no. Well, like, probably on, like, the, the eShop on Wii or whatever, where it's just, like, the same game. <laughs> Could be. Dr. Shibota says he's been watching some good wood today. Oh, Diddy Kong Racing was on DS, that's right. So it was kind of ported there. Oh. Isn't all wood inherently good, Tyler? You know? I mean, I guess maybe uh, not if it gets you in trouble. That's right. Crash Team Racing, I want to play. That just came out. So this event, I think I just have to beat this one guy who zoomed ahead of me, so I have no chance of beating him. Yeah, I don't know how to drift. On, on Diddy Kong for N64, I was even able to unlock the clock guy, which is the like final thing. You have to beat a certain time in every level. Oh. It was a pain, but I did it because I'm the best. Is he a Smash Brothers character? No. TT should be. TT. TT, and he's a, a timepiece or something? Yep. Yes. Yep, Jonah knows. TT, and he made a funny noise. Yeah. Oh. And he wasn't even that fun to race as. He was fast, but, you know, it's just one of those things where you unlock it for the sake of unlocking, but... Uh, did did anyone win the... We haven't given away the first Xbox code yet, have we? Because we only have No, we haven't. Minutes. Yeah, okay. All right, remember, whoever wins the first one, I want you to hop online and play with me. It's a four and a half gig game, too, so... You better have some real internet. So it does have online gameplay? Yeah, they just added it in an update. That's what inspired me to ask them for codes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I love when... Hey, I like that sound. Thank you, BX Latino Heat. Awesome. BX Latino and Jono donating tonight, even though I started the stream late, like a total amateur. Total amateur. Yep. Another 10 minutes. All right, we can wait. But I I'm fearing because of the variety of events and the way some of them are like not necessarily fair in the difficulty department. Yay, homie Drew! All right, even better. Today's a good day to win bits, Tyler. Anyway, my fear is that we may kind of hit a wall with progression, and that would not be great for streaming, in which case hopping into multiplayer might be a good fix. Took first, hey, I just took first somehow. I don't know what I did. I take everything back, Tyler, except for first. Oh, and then I just smacked into a random car, and he jumped ahead of me. Piece of crap. Yeah, you rammed right into him. Well, you know, the colors are kind of funky. It's all, like, real is saturated, the word, or I don't know. Like, it all blends together a lot. Kind of sure. Always someone else is something else's fault. <laughs> There's some real visibility issues going on with seeing stuff in front of you. I'm about to take first back. I think what happened is he had wrecked on his own. Ha! Just smacked him into the wall. Stay there. That's your place. Don't be disappointed, Wolfblade. Lady Pesh, you might like Wolfblade and Thyrenia. They are JRPG fans as well. Wolfblade's a big Persona fan. Okay, it looks like I just crashed myself, even though I did nothing, and so the guy jumped ahead of me again, of course. Uh, we're going to take it back. Yes. Took first and slam. You know, what I think the game needs is when it says something like slam, it should have the guy from NBA Jam do it. You know, it's like, slam! <laughs> yeah, that would really just be the icing on the cake. I think so. you got to have a little personality. And, I, and then he would say, shunt, too. Like that. <laughs> shunt! You know, I wouldn't mind a little boom shakalaka. Which is another thing that was said in NBA GM, Tyler. I can't believe you don't know that. Oh, yeah, I just smacked into that van, which I should have been able to see coming. Don't let him over... Oh, he overtook me! It's like you moved right into him. Every little mistake and the guy overtakes you. Man, right at the end he overtook me. Son of a... Oh, I'm s thank you for pointing that out. I wish I had said bye. Yeah, I mean, speaking of placing the blame on people, you know who, who didn't tell me what people in chat were saying? Who, me? 
Oh, hey, Tyler. How are you? I'm good. Good. What have you been up to all week? Um, well, I worked, and then it was July 4th. Then I went back to work. And Did you do anything special yep. for the holiday? I went and saw Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, how good was it? It was good. All right. I regret to say that I haven't seen it because I've been working so much. Dang that taco stand. Yeah, I mean, they even made me go work today on stream day when I was supposed to be off. That doesn't make me happy. I like the hours and stuff. And yeah. I had to I had to pay for my food because the district manager or the area manager was there. That's stupid. Yeah. So you're not supposed to get free food, like a free meal or anything? No, you're supposed to just get it for half off. So oh. that's what I did. Almost every day I can just get stuff for free because there's only a few of the managers who care. So it's handy. I mean, even half off is not bad, especially if it's only occasionally. Yeah, Icky didn't like Spider-Man because he's a sad little boy. Jeez, Icky, what the heck? I was just reading an article about how Spider-Man's extra, uh, extra popular in Japan, which is only like a short swim away from Malaysia. So you'd think Icky would have similar tastes. I mean... Every Marvel movie could be considered filler, except for, like, the two Infinity War ones. Yeah, and it's not necessarily about, like, how does it advance the whole universe, you know? Right. It could just be a fun story about Spider-Man. Right. People can't get hung up that, like, the, yeah, that the universe has to advance every single time. Because there's a bunch of crappy Marvel Cinematic Universe ones that don't advance the universe at all. Or maybe it does advance the universe, but the story it's telling is not that compelling, you know? Like, I mean, Right, that too. Yeah, like Dark World had like some advancement in things, um, but it was still terrible. <laughs> yeah, not the best. Certainly the worst of the Thor movies. I thought the, the late after credits scene was stupid. Really? I don't is... want to talk about it but how are there two or three after credits scenes? there's two there's one so you know how like they do the fancy credits yeah um and then there's a scene and then after the real credits there's another scene yeah yeah nice and because i know some people have said good things at least about one of the after credits ones but i don't know which one um I'm trying to think what the first one was spoiling we're not spoiling Simeus we wouldn't do that so what happens is uh, <laughs> Spider-Man and Hydro Man make up at the end and start making out oh wow that's, that's in the post credit scene yes the shippers are going to have a field day with that one. Oh, yep just ran into a bus thanks for nothing bus did I crash the bus at least no he took you out good that time I actually maintained first place Ugh! And then sideswiping another car crashed me. See, like, I don't like the inconsistent. Like, just let players, if you hit them from the side, you're fine. You know, don't penalize half the time. That's too much. Yeah, and I really don't like the colors and lighting on this particular stage. Like, it's not that it's bad lighting, but the colors definitely are just all kind of blends together in this blue-orange mush. Yeah, I can't remember what the first in the credit uh -oh. scene was. Here, let me think for a second. Second place again! I was in first the whole time, right at the end! Don't grumble! Hey, Shitsu! Good to see you! Pitfall Harry, glad you made it! That's right. The one, what, the one, Flip the... Him. One of them is good, yes. One of the, the <laughs> stingers, or whatever they're called. Yeah, they are also called Stingers. Hello, Avenged Backlog. Look at all these people coming out tonight. One of the shunts is good, and then one of the shunts is not so good. Ooh. So one of the shunts gets kind of shunted, is what you're saying. Yeah, it gets gets a little shunty. Ooh. Hey, full of swag gamer. Scott365 is here, too. Glad to see you all. Uh, what do we think the dev kit specs will be? Don't dev kits just have twice as much RAM as a regular system? Isn't that how it works? I think the dev kits are more powerful. 
Well, they all they definitely always have extra RAM, but yeah, you're right. They might also have more processing power. I don't know. I don't really worry about that stuff. I don't get to that level of <laughs> concern. Nor do I, nor do I. Do you, do you have any hype building up for next year's gen, Tyler? Yes. Absolutely. I'm always excited to see what's new, what's on the way. Me too. Is, you know, my big thing is like I'm looking forward to the great shift in loading times. That's going to be yeah, nice. Yeah, seriously. But Darker Player raised a good point, and that's that, like, when you buy an external hard drive for these new systems, is it going to need to be an SSD external, or, or what's the deal going to be? Yeah. That you know, because, like, yeah, if it's a regular hard drive, then the games that you put on it will load slower. So. Who the heck knows, right? What do you think the base hard drive size will be? Uh, one terabyte. And won't that be a mistake? Because I tell you, the, the Xbox One X's hard drive fills up well enough, and these games are, you know, there's going to be more that take advantage of 14K and stuff. 14 freaking seconds behind. Yeah, um... Yeah, what is... what? I guess there's a terabyte in the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One Pro or whatever it's called, right? The One yeah, X? Yeah, the X. The, yeah, they both have one terabyte. The Bone X. Um... <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I, you never know when they're going to do, like, like I think the lower model will have one terabyte, and then if there's a more stronger model, it will have, that will be the big difference is the storage size, and they'll probably have two. There had just better be, but the rumor is that there will only be one for the Xbox, which is not... Well, they only did one last gen, didn't they? Or do they do two? Um, yeah, only one right at one. launch. Yeah. Well, like, you know, it's just not fair. If somebody would want a bigger hard drive size, then just make one available. Don't make us wait a year or two years and have to rebuy the system. Like, just make it available right off the gate. Um, you do understand that they want you to have to rebuy the system, right? Yeah, but that's no good. Shouldn't have to buy everything twice or, like, trade a system into GameStop. What if GameStop's not around anymore at that point? Yep. What if they get bought out by Think Geek and it just becomes like Think Geek stores? <laughs> they own Think Geek. <laughs> yeah, and Think Geek's getting shut down, right? Yeah, so. they just closed it. Yeah, all the local stores are staying open. We don't have any Think Geeks here. Oh. But it was it was kind of stupid. I mean, it was kind of stupid for them both to exist at this point because GameStop is like half tables and half games. Yeah, so they, that's true. They didn't need another store that was like full collectibles because GameStops basically already are. I mean, that's the only reason I ever go into GameStops. But the thing is, they actually have reasonable prices on collectibles like that are comparable to other stores and stuff um, oh, yeah? compared to their games, which are usually, you know, you can usually get a, if you want a used game, you can usually get it cheaper off of eBay or Amazon. Agreed. That's a good point, Tyler. Thank you. When's the last time you bought a used game? Oh man! Human Brian's here. Hey, Human Brian, you mixed all the all the naughty talk earlier. Oh, I think I did buy some of. You know how like they randomly put some indies, like Sedesco publishes indies and stuff. I think I bought a couple of indies on a buy two get one sale a while back from mm -hmm. GameStop. Oh, Human Brian was being naughty all on his own, and now he's he's done. We're glad you're not too tired to hang out with us, my bro. Yay, Full of Swag Gamer, if you want to do that, then please do. We, we would love for you to play with me. I don't have you as an Xbox Live friend, I don't think. So if you can install it and everything, then let me know and we'll play together. Uh, well, it depends on what you were doing in VR. There are actually a lot of naughty VR applications, Tyler. This is what I'm told. I don't know about anything like that firsthand. Saber, that's a good exercise. Oh. <laughs> so, so you were being naughty. <laughs> Beat saber. He was beating the saber. Beat saber. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you got to. 
Shunting, shunting the old saber a little bit. <laughs> Man, yeah, that saber's probably all worn out at this point. Okay. What can I say? We don't blame you, Brian. We do not blame you. No one's here to judge. We're all yeah. mostly just jealous that you have a pretty sweet VR setup and we don't. <laughs> yeah, that must be nice. I continue to be too dumb to get my PlayStation VR setup going. You know, I should have had the summer to relax and, like, take care of projects and things, Tyler. But then you got a job at the taco stand. Yeah, which I have to. And do you know my son, who I got a job there, because, you know, the lazy son, so wouldn't give himself a job for half a year. Uh -huh. I got a job there, and he called in today, a week, two weeks after he started. Oh, wait, does he work at the taco stand, too? Yeah, he works at the exact same place. Is that why you had to go in, because he called in? Yes, that is why. Really? Yes. You can't just yell at him to get his ass to work? He won't listen. It's Kids. Yeah, you know, he has stuff wrong with him in the uh, cranial region, regrettably. That's he too bad. Pretty, yeah, he was... Must I mean, have like got he, it from his dad. Uh, I have a good work ethic. Oh. I'm not lazy and whiny. Oh. I mean, you know, I don't have a whole lot of qualities, but I would say having a good work ethic is one of them. So, yeah, if I was a game developer, what I wouldn't do is make my racing game so hard that when somebody tries to stream it, they're just doing the same race over and over and over again. I would think that would be, like, a bad thing to have on stream. Are you doing the same race over and over? Yes, I am. But why? Can't you just move on to the next one? No, because you have to like get a bronze or better to unlock the next one. Oh. Well, I don't think they build games for streamers. They build games mostly just for players. Um, a streamer is a kind of player. Yeah, but barely. Yay, full of swag. Successfully redeemed the code. Okay, swag, please let us know if it finishes installing in time to play together. Because that would be awesome. Too bad we had a new viewer when I streamed Monster Jam Steel Titans a couple days ago. You really missed out on that one, Tyler. What was it called? Monster Jam Steel Titans. Sounds pretty sweet. Yep, the latest monster truck racing game from THQ Nordic. Ah, uh, THQ Nordic. No, they were fantastic games. Yeah, what, what company were they before they became THQ Nordic? They were just like called um, Nordic. Nordic, Nordic that makes sense. And then they bought like all the THQ licenses, including apparently the right to call themselves THQ. <laughs> Aha! And then they got in trouble for like hosting a AMA on a racist <laughs> website. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. Sure wasn't. But they did make Darksiders 3, so you gotta give them... Yeah, how was that game? I haven't played it yet, I want to. I love Darksiders 1. I didn't like 2 very much. I didn't even make any... I didn't crash a lot, and I still got second place. I'm getting a little bit tired of this game, to be honest. Like, the core gameplay is good, but the structure of the career mode is quite thoughtless. One more try, guys. Then. So you have to. You can't move on to the next level. You have to get first. Isn't second place good enough? That's. It's just a two-car race. So if you don't beat the uh, guy, oh, then you don't win. I see. Well, I mean, I I will say, in your defense, that games that like, uh, put walls up in progress like too much is really annoying. Like they should give you. The option to do at least a few different things at any given time. Yeah. It's and mostly true go... of puzzle games, which, like, you get stuck on a puzzle. Like, you should be able to play, like, ten levels at a time. And here's here's the main problem. The game does not tell you what you need to do in any individual type of event. So there's this other race, Shakedown, and what's the main thing to do in Shakedown? What's the main thing to do in, you know, like... Why would it not say that when you're selecting the event? Or during the loading screen? Those are the two times that racing games normally explain what to do. And this one doesn't. 
Shakedown is about crashing other cars. Okay, let's try that. I can go back and do Shakedown, because like I did skip ahead after failing on that one. Yeah, I agree, Darker Player. But what can you do? Isn't it a chan like Ghana run by an American expatriate in Thailand or something? I don't know that. I feel like it is. No, it does not tell you what to do anywhere. All right. It tells so you to that's... do a minute, uh, minute 20, though. Yeah, but what does that mean? I just have to get to the end in a minute 20? I don't know. Jonas has to drive on the wrong side of the road. I don't like that advice, but... Okay, I hit that guard from the side and I crashed. Because again, this game doesn't have sufficiently arcadey crashing physics. Bumping other cars is just as dangerous to me in the game about bumping other cars. I don't know. We're in 30 meters. I'm getting close. I think I'm getting close to the finish line. Is that what we're? I don't think this one is about bumping into other cars though. Come on, let's get to the end. Did not make that metal target, but what about the next one? Can you upgrade your car? I haven't seen anything like that. I think you're just stuck with that with whatever type of car it is. Okay, I got a bronze that time. I did do better. We got hey. a crappy racing game on PlayStation Plus. Is it crappy? I thought it looked kind of neat. How do oh, it's like okay. It? I don't know. I played it for a minute and it felt pretty lame. Yeah, that was just a straight time trial, which again is the thing the game could communicate verbally. Use your words, game. Use your words. Okay, so now I can do Heat Wave. Different type of race. Does anyone know what Heat Wave is? Have you driven tuned formula? No, I haven't because I can only select sedan and you don't get different models of car and there's no upgrades. It's uh, one of my coworkers asking me what my Twitch URL is. Twitch.com slash Shunter's <laughs> no. Delight. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that part's right, but it's Twitch.tv. Oh, Twitch.tv slash Shunter's Delight. Hey, look, this part, it says, don't fight, race your way to the finish. Use all boosts for heat wave bonus. Okay. That time it did. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's been through it every previous time. Yeah. Is that really what happened, Tyler? I don't know. I'm sad if that's what happened. And I've been complaining so much. But still, it also should say it when you select the event. And I stand by that. Heat wave bonus. That means nothing to me. You gotta use all your use all your boost and you get the heat wave. I'm two seconds behind, I'm in sixth place. So how yeah, hot is it there in Texas? Um, you know, it is hot, but it's not like unusually hot, so I don't notice it. You know, my job in the in the taco place, I'm just hot all day long there. There's no air conditioning in the taco stand? In the the lobby is cooled. The kitchen is supposed to have vents to make it cooler that the companies... Oh, I, I can't talk about that. I can't say negative things about the company in public. Um, it's not as cool as it should be, let's put it that way. That sucks. Yes. There's always money in the tacos. <laughs> you sure you're not thinking of the banana stand? <laughs> I, might, I might have them confused. Wasn't it funny when it turns out there was, that was a literal thing and not just a, a semi-metaphorical statement? I've been thinking... 
here and there I've thought about Arrested Development lately. I don't know why. But I, was just I haven't like, watched the second half. I think the second half of the new season is out, right? Yeah, and I, I watched one episode of it, and it was fine. But it just, you know, I just can't help but thinking how the first two years are so much better. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of earthquakes. Parker player mentions earthquakes in California. California will be an island in six months, I think. Yeah, pretty much goes without saying. It'll just fall off. Not that we won't miss that much. <laughs> there's not a whole lot special about Southern California. You don't think so? Is is San Francisco more northern? Uh, I don't know. Um, man, I may not be able. To Okay, we're kind of near normal stream ending time anyway. But like, I don't know, I'm getting kind of sick of this. <laughs> I like yeah, racing games. That's true of every racing game. <laughs> no, I mean, just like the way the stupid computer players are so freaking fast. And if you don't play like a virtually flawless race, you're not going to get ahead usually. It's... Well, I mean, are you breaking at the curves? Because it seems like you bounce into the wall every time you take it. Turn. You know, maybe I hit him a little bit, but it's arcadey. You're supposed to bounce around a little. But I mean, I'm trying to drift, you know, because you get some boost for drifting. Ow. I do hit things a lot. But I mean, I assure you, there's a great many racing games that I'm able to complete on my own or get near to the end of them. Remember that Velocity G game? I got real far in that until he got stupidly hard in like the last third of the game. All using all your boosts at once give you if you keep earning boost by driving on the wrong side plus drifting you can keep boosting the whole race Jono you are, you're getting way too advanced for Paul Paul's Jono. lucky that he knows which one the accelerate button is <laughs> but you know like I'll just end up bumping a car and then boom I crash and the other car is probably fine this or one's the velocitator and the, the deceleratrix <laughs> Is that a Simpsons reference? It is a Simpsons reference, very good. Yeah. Um, don't Nitro during turn, Icky says, but Jono says to Nitro the whole time. Jabronis says his connection is bad and he can't watch the stream. Oh, well, you're missing some world-class racing right now, Jabronis. Yeah, Jabronis, I'm like on the ball today. I'm spot on. I'm like white on rice. Or uh, I'm like a racist on the casting of a Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> but don't you feel bad for Gingers, who like Little Mermaid was their princess, and now oh she's yeah, gone. they're oh man, they're getting erased from uh, all of media. The Gingers, aren't they? That's right. Is that like the dumbest argument you've ever heard? It's pretty dumb, I feel. Which the Gingers one? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Are people really making that argument? Yes. Oh, I don't yes. Think that's what someone, saying. someone who is related to me, who unfortunately like reads a lot of negative online things and doesn't realize that the core beliefs and principles behind those things are, you know, racist or homophobic or whatever. That anyway, that person busted out all the stupid arguments there are. Historical accuracy. It's Danish. There's no black people in Daneland or whatever. Like, <laughs> guess what? There's not in Daneland mermaids. Yeah, there's uh, Little Mermaid doesn't take place in Dan Denmark. Well, it's it's Nordic or something, you know. It's a traditional folk thing from there. Who the heck cares? It's not real. Yeah, this particular person causes me a, a lot of headaches. I'll be honest. I bet I know who it is. Yep, someone without. Not only good discernment, but also uh, without a good work ethic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Both of which he got from his father. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's the not, apple doesn't fall far from the racist oh, tree. Oh, he's not just a copy of his father. No, that's the thing. Like, people. People without good BS detectors can be, like, talked into a lot of stupid stuff. What do they call that? You know, it's like the, the onboarding they're of gullible. terrorists and stuff. Yeah, I mean, they are gullible, and so they're, like, they read something, and they're like, yeah, that sounds 
Yep, susceptible is another good word. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, what about all the redheads? Right. There's not going to be any more redheads in film now because of Mary Jane and The Little Mermaid, blah, blah, blah. You know, and you just want to smack them. But I can't yeah, just Mary, smack them. Mary Jane isn't white anymore either. Yep. How sad. Life just isn't as good anymore without a white redheaded Mary Jane. Uh, but, you know, like the end result, this is what what he doesn't get the end result of it's always the same people who make these arguments okay and what they would want their their end goal is just not to have important leads go to african americans and go to you know people who are different in some way and uh you know you can't be like that you can't say no it has to be historically accurate you can't have women in your your first person shooter you can't do this you can't do that or just those people never get opportunities to be represented in media. And that's not cool. Yeah, yeah so I mean, stupid, Brian. yeah, this one's particularly, I don't, I don't agree with it all. Like once in a while, like, like you say, sometimes they might have a decent point or two, but yeah, you know, occasionally. you can trace it back to like uh, hatred roots and, and like, you just know that that's where it comes from. It's, and it's, it's hard to remove that from the other, the point they're making. Yeah, like with the, you know, the female Ghostbusters movie, unfortunately, there's a lot of intersection there. You know, like valid criticisms, but also people who are very offended about the leads being women and stuff. Right. So that's, that's frustrating. And like, I know I don't want to be allied with the friggin' Nazis, you know, but like, some people aren't able to see that. Hmm, do Nazis think this? Yes. But also, I think it. Like, no, if the Nazis think it, then you know that's the wrong opinion to hold on that subject. <laughs> right, exactly. Anyways, we should probably move on. To, <laughs> let's get back yeah. into Spider, Spider-Man spoilers. I like that. So after yes. Mary Jane puts on the spider suit, that was probably <laughs> my favorite part. Oh, wow. <laughs> and does it, like, sprout artificial red hair? Exactly. Boom. And then when it turned out Ned was Mysterio, it was like, wow. So, yeah, there's, there's a good movie all over the place. Whoa, yeah, one twist after another. That's right. Some Shyamalama Ding Dong action. So, look, I'm, like, doing the best I can, and I'm not even in fifth place. Like, just the the AI and the, like, target times or whatever is frustratingly strict. Wow. Oh, I'm keeping this heat wave going for a long time, though. That's nice. Until I smack into a random car and get thrown off. Homecoming's a good movie, too. I like yeah. that. Hey, there's Crow. Did Crow get his code? Did he win? He won, but then he wasn't claiming his code. I'm still a little angry at him for uh, unsubscribing from the newsletter, which technically is against the rules for participating in the contest to Crow. That jerk. Yeah, because, oh, God, we sure do send a lot of newsletters, don't we, Tyler? Do we send one today? No. Uh, no. No. Because you had to work at the taco stand. Yeah. Somebody had to make those tacos, Tyler. That's right. Time to make the tacos. <laughs> I already made the tacos. So many tacos. Okay, until I get crashed, this is actually going to be pretty exciting. Because I've kept my nitro going for a really long time. Don't crash, don't crash. Hey, I just got an achievement. Yes. This time I'm getting a few achievements out of this sucker. Yep, crash. Randomly hit a car. Thank goodness I got that achievement first, am I right? Dang, I didn't even see that car. I know, like, how could I have avoided that? What did I do wrong, Mr. Game that instantly puts me back in fifth place? Yeah, Link, I think you'll really enjoy the new Spider-Man. When Thanos comes back from the dead, it's just nuts. Oh, wow. It's just, it's got everything. <laughs> and then Ultron comes back from the dead, and it's really boring for two and a half hours, but then it gets good oh. again. He comes back and he's real sarcastic and not scary. Unlike the real Ultron, who is very scary. Yeah, thank you, Link. I'm doing my part. I gotta pull pure pretzels weight on this, okay? 
He's local. He's semi-local to me. He lives in Houston. We still never met, and that's yeah. Cool. Sometimes like he's around a lot, and then he like disappears a lot. He probably has a real life. He's got a job and stuff, and I know he's social and he vapes. Yeah, social. What a what a loser. Jeez. He's too busy vaping, man. You know how people uh, who do that are. They have to go to the vape parlor. Oh, Beetle Man! I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hop on over to online multiplayer. I hope full swag gamer actually installed the game and stuff. Did did we catch any communication on that front? He said he didn't. Because he's not at home. Oh god, did we not communicate we didn't communicate it well enough, did we, Tyler? I only said it like twice. Um Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I definitely But I mean, you know, it's I I mean, I don't know, unless you want to people want to sit out of a contest just because you know they can't play it right now i mean i just you know every now and then i think that's fair in the name of the stream just to help us have a better stream <laughs> all right um yeah we're gonna try just oh browse games let's see if there's any games going it did just get the, hey there's a game going i'm gonna join yeah, that i don't game. think it's that dead especially if they online work error he gave me a network error. That's there encouraging. It there it is. <laughs> Quick join. We'll try that. No, it's okay, full of swag. I'm glad you won, though. Uh, I mean, maybe the online mode doesn't work very well, considering it's network erroring me over and over again. I'm going to host a game and just see if anyone else is able to get into my game. Did you have more PlayStation codes and Xbox codes to give away? Yeah, because they gave us three of each, and I had to oh, use and then the you Xbox had to, one to play. look for the game. Yeah, usually, I mean, I always request one additional Xbox code, but they don't necessarily, you know, adhere to that. Right. I wish I didn't have to work at 6 in the morning, guys. Who, who buys tacos at 6 a.m.? <laughs> well, I think it actually opens at 7. But yeah, we got to get there early and, like, I don't know, make beans and crap. Yeah. Well, we, do you have, like, a full breakfast menu? Yes, we do. And in fact, we used to have all day breakfast, but now it stops at 11 in the morning as of this month. So that's different. Yay, way to go to Crow. Tyler, make sure you forward to Crow the newsletter every time we send one. Well, he'll probably get added back to, oh, I guess he can't, huh? Because once you unsubscribe, you can't resubscribe. Yeah, MailChimp. Or he would have to this. subscribe yeah, it himself. Manually do it. Okay, we're gonna end the stream like this. The, the campaign mode's difficulty really needs to be reworked like that's not fun just hitting that wall over and over super the AI just zooms past you and then you spend the whole race trying to catch their coattails no thank you does anyone know how much this game costs uh $400 oh $20 too much <laughs> yeah solid 380 would have been worth <laughs> Did I mention I'm uh, I'm trying to get a, a Switch at the end of September? Like, it comes out in Japan at the end of September, and then I'll get it in October because of the shipping times. You want a Japanese Switch? Yeah, the Dragon Quest Switch. They get a limited edition Dragon Quest Eleven Switch. I want a Dragon Quest Eleven Switch. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, but you wouldn't like the price, Tyler. Is the the cheapest... Dollars? It's more. Cheapest place you can get it, it's 480 And Play Asia, uh, 530 is that so, before shipping costs? Yes, before shipping. Oof. I mean, sh shipping will probably only be like 15 to 20, but still. Does it have it, two two blue controllers and then it has decals? I think, I don't know, you know, I don't know if they're decals or if it's just like printed on there. I don't know how they do that stuff. Um, but but it's pretty. It also comes with the Japanese copy of Dragon Quest XI. I'm not sure if you set your console to English, if it'll just play in English, but I sure hope so, because it would be nice to not have to, you know, rebuy the game. Always just buy a normal one and put some Dragon Quest stickers on it. I gotta have the Dragon Quest system, dang it. I gotta be the envy of my Dragon Quest peers, Tyler. There's a lot of them. You saw a couple of them earlier. Are you even gonna play <laughs> Dragon Quest on it? Sorry, Icky. I need to, right? I mean, the, the system is actually the main point. The game is secondary. But... Um... I do love me some Dragon Quest. Did I mention I got some tarot cards recently, Tyler? Yes. 
I can't do that. I keep, for one thing, I've wanted to switch for a while. You know, like, I get Switch codes to stream. Like, I've probably got, like, four or five Switch games that they gave me codes just on their own. And I can't I can't stream them. You know why? Because I don't have a Switch yet. So this will meet that need. Get Mario Kart 8. Yes, Link, I definitely want to get, like, all the kind of hot games eventually. But I'm going to buy them digitally. And that means I have to wait for, like, online sales and stuff. Because I know you get all these good Target deals and stuff, and then the digital deals aren't going to keep up with that, are they? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, nice. See, it actually has a unique back, Brian says. Thank you for looking into that. Um, but no, it's just about having the special system. You know, I have the special Dragon Quest 3DS, 2DS, which I quite love. And this is going to be neat. Whoa! Look at that. Icky could get the Switch for $100 off and he won't do it. That's crazy, Icky. Can you imagine being that dedicated to Xbox, Tyler? Uh, no, I can't. But I've made fun of Icky plenty of times for that already. <laughs> yeah, you got enough, Icky. Oh, a normal Switch is 200 I wouldn't get a normal Switch for 200 bucks. Really? No, I, I, it's normal. Why? Yeah, there's no games to play on it. Like you have to pay sixty bucks for each game. Like, but there no, there are good Target and Best Buy sales on games sometimes. Like quite yeah. often, you can get the hotter games for forty, which is a fair I, price. For I market. have plenty of games to play. You do, but you don't sometimes feel like playing that new Mario Kart and the. Well, Mario I don't. Maker I don't need to play you. Mario Platformer Twenty Seven either, or I Mario like Kart Four Hundred Forty Four. So now you don't like Sonic or Mario, Tyler? Is that what you're That's saying? That's right. I hate Sonic. <laughs> uh, Except the movie. Tyler. Excited oh, for the movie. movie. Well, yeah, because they used your stupid character design. That's right. I drew it <laughs> in, in four minutes and oh. sent it in. That's the one they picked. <laughs> They're like, I love it. Send perfect. It to the silver screen. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> special needs child has got the perfect idea of what we need for Sonic. Oh, nice, Link. That's good to hear. And you know, Link and everybody, we have a deals, like a deals channel on our Discord server. And if you ever see a, like a hot price on something like that, feel free to share it in the deals. You know, I share some deals, icky, every now and then. I don't believe you ever have, Tyler. You need to do better at that. Uh, I'll get a good deal for you. Yes, deals. Yeah, we used to give AJ crap about that, and then AJ stopped coming to the streams. Dang it, AJ. I don't, I don't really miss him. Yeah, I don't especially miss him either, but, you know, it's just, it's not good to lose people and not gain new ones to replace him, you know? Right. But when it's AJ, <laughs> it's still kind of a wash. Oh. He's kind of, he's kind of conceited. Yes, definitely. There's only room for one conceited person in the server. <laughs> You've had that long time CAG rivalry <laughs> going. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I said one thing. Oh, one whole thing. I think Darker Player won the last code, so I don't know if she's planning to install or not. Yeah, it would, well, with her internet speed and given that it's four and a half gigs and not just... Oh, like it's not going to happen. Yeah, yep, that's what yeah. she just said. Do we do we want to just do some quick little, uh, like, encore of a different game or something? Uh, well, you know, every... What state are you located in? Chicago, I forget. Didn't you say you're not really in Chicago? I can't remember. Illinois. <laughs> well, Chicago is in Illinois, yes. Can we get confirmation on that? <laughs> yeah, let us know. Um, but basically, the stream officially started an hour and a half ago, although we started 15 minutes late tonight. Oh, Colorado, yeah, so 9 p.m. Eastern time is when the stream, the Saturday stream starts. Every Saturday, always at that time, or a few minutes late, like today. Colorado is next to me. They're there in the same time zone as me. Wait. I thought Colorado was to the east. Of you? Yeah, is it not? Yeah, Colorado's just a little bit east of Louisiana. Okay, then why did you say it was next to you? Do you really not know where Colorado is? It's not to the east of Texas? No. <laughs> oh, dang. Last time I checked, no, Colorado's not <laughs> east of Texas. My bad. Okay, so I told you the wrong time. I'm sorry. Uh, Somebody convert the, the proper start. Good old life. Eastern time zone, Colorado. Oh. Good That's thing you don't I... teach geography, Paul. <laughs> it is good. I made an A in college geography, and I forgot it all the next day, okay? 
Oh, that's how Colorado yeah, maybe, is. Yeah, maybe there is an earthquake that moved Colorado <laughs> two time oh, zones to the cold. east. That's real cold. Okay, um, no one ever joined my game. I'm going to try quick joining again. Sorry, guys. Why did I think it was to the east? Oh, boy. Nope, my headset has like two minutes left, so. Oh, when I, okay. We'll when I drop out, that. that's why. Okay. Uh, well, all right. Um, so they have added online games. There is a game browser. There is an open game. The the game won't let me join it. Network error occurred. So, um, yeah, we wanted to show off the new online feature, and that's what they gave us. <laughs> there are different countries outside of Texas. Texas is not actually a country. It's only a state. It used to be its own country, though. But everyone in Texas still thinks it's their own country. I did join the one without the lock. It won't let me. It's a network error. It's not that the game is locked. Browse. Look, I'll, I'll pick the locked one. See, it won't let me pick it, period. Like, you cannot select it. But then I, I picked the other one, network error. So that is ridiculous. Yeah, that's okay, darker player. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Don't tread on me. That's right, little pup. Texas represent. <laughs> okay, well, you guys, I'm really sorry about running late today. I will, you know, like, it, it's hard to say no to, like, I want to help them because I, I like everybody I work with, you know, so, like, I don't like for them to have too terrible a night. And if they're like, hey, Paul, come help us, you know, then I, I want to be like Spider-Man. And I want to, you know, I'm far from home and I'm, I'm coming home. I'm homecoming. And, uh, you know, I shoot them all with webs. They're like, stop doing that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's it, Icky. Maybe I'm not on open. But, but anyway, yeah, it's hard to say no when they need help. And I, I do get a little money out of it, so why not? Okay, guys, we better go ahead and wrap things up. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We love hanging out with you every Saturday. We're glad Tyler is back, finally out of jail. Yep. Yes, so thank you, Icky. this week. <laughs> Good thing. Thank you, Icky, for running the contest. Please please join us next week everybody join my discord if you haven't joined it already actually use it to chat it's a great way to keep in touch love keeping in touch with you guys yes stay out of jail you jerk good to see you all i love you we'll see you next weekend and whatever you do don't hate appreciate it. see you guys that'll hold those little sobs Freaking SOBs. You're welcome, BX Going on? I mean it plays sound, but I can't do it.